Fear-based marketing, it sounds scary. Fear-based marketing encourages audiences to take action in order to avoid something dangerous or risky or otherwise undesirable. Now, this concept isn't exactly new. In fact, Listerine, the mouthwash brand, was already doing this back in the 1920s. One of their ads featured a woman who couldn't find a husband because of her bad breath. LifeLock, which provides services related to identity theft, also takes this approach. They might run an ad where someone had a loan taken out with their social security number, or a person whose credit card was stolen, and they use these as examples of why you need them. The CDC gives us another very powerful example of fear-based marketing with their anti-smoking campaigns, which show the very serious and scary side effects associated with smoking. Fear-based marketing is so effective because it's very attention-grabbing. It also aligns with a concept called loss aversion, which tells us that people are more motivated to avoid something that they don't want as opposed to chasing something that they do want. So fear-based marketing can be incredible for your conversion rates. However, some people are turned off by this approach. It's very easy to go overboard and rely too much on shock value. Your audience might not appreciate that you're trying to scare them into spending money on you. Fear-based marketing can work, but strategy and intention are key. Don't scare people just for the sake of scaring them. Rather, really zero in on their main pain points and then demonstrate how your brand can help them avoid those things. That's all we got for you today. It was a quick one. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you never miss our new content. See you next time.